Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of uh, Apocalypse Chaos by Z-Man Games. It's a cooperative game by Florian Fay. I know very little about it. Uh, I know it's supposed to be really good, and since it's a cooperative, obviously, as with all cooperative games, uh, it's soloable. All fully cooperative games. There are some semi-cooperative games that obviously keep players from fully cooperating, and then those would not necessarily be soloable, but take a look at what's inside the box. Uh, and usually does pretty good productions. Their uh, Pandemic the Cure is you know, like the best pandemic there is. So. Uh, good quality box, thick box. Um, wow, it's actually a very sturdy box. Nice. Oh, okay. So here's what you get. Cooperative game, one to four players, ages 13 and up. I think I'm old enough to play it. I'm gonna get a rule book. In fact, it tells you right there it's a rule book. Full color rule book. This one is all English. So it's, it's some examples of play, uh, different missions. Uh, they stop numbering the pages at 13, so I'm thinking you get about 18 pages here for the rule book. Tells you how to handle the missions. There is a campaign mode if you want to play that. Pretty cool. So we're gonna get some uh, punch boards. Some player boards, I would assume. We'll get to those in a minute. Dice, speaking of, of the uh, Pandemic Cure, which came with a bunch of really nice custom dice. Here you're gonna get a bag of five each of four colors. It's an action selection game, if I did recall correctly. So let me put my dice tray here. Let's see, it looks like they all have the same same stats per die. So it's just a matter of player color, I assume. Okay, so let me get those. You do not get the dice tray. Some standees. To hold are some stands for, I assume, some standees that are going to be coming on the punch boards. Deck of cards. Small deck. Take a peek in here. Spindly. Armor, electric charge. It's going to make obviously more sense when I read them. The cards feel kind of thin. But they're coated. They hold well. So a little larger than poker size. Maybe a little larger than standard size. Maybe they are poker size. They are. Um, they're double sided and they're different on each side. So I don't know, obviously, how that's going to work. But I assume it works. Take a quick measure here. They are slightly over two and a half by slightly, by just at three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half. Got some shifting going on there. So you get a deck of cards. All right, then you get a tower. It stands, and then it says multiple levels. So you're gonna get a seal bag. Get these tower pieces in it. I assume they stand and hold other other components like so. Okay, you get four, five, six, seven, eight of those. As usual, neatly packaged, and then the the insert is uh, it's thick, but it's usually pretty cheap. I mean, but uh, uh, serviceable. And would be simple enough to replace with some uh, foam core, should you want to. All right, you got uh, six punch boards here. Let's see what's in those. And so there's a couple some player player cards in here as well. Player um, player boards. You have the fracturing <sighs> shrink wrap. Just wants to disintegrate with each pull. So opening. There we go. 
not as strong as I used to be, I guess. All right, so we've got I suspect the player boards in the same colors as the dice. I wonder if that's a clue. Probably. So we've got a cool looking heavy there. What else we got here? We got a lady kicker. Hi ya, I'm gonna shoot you and kick you at the same time. And we got some kind of robot looking thing there. And then we've got Samurai Dude. Who needs a little more armor on? So those are the player cards. Yeah, so there's there's kicker kicker lady right there, and there she's the same on all of them. All right, so you get four of those cards. You gotta get the four standees. You get five standee five stands. It looks like, and then we got six player boards. We've got looks like room tiles, as well as well, here's this guy matches one of the player boards. Obviously, that's your player. And then you got the punch easily. You got some stands here. Oh, look. I was, I was kind of smart sometimes. Yeah, they're punching out really easily. So that's awesome. Okay. So obviously, you're going to take this, and you're going to take this. And if my IQ test passed. You're gonna shove these guys in together like that. And then you got a little standy. Like a roadblock, maybe? Or a wall, or a barrier. So you gotta get those, and then you get the little plastic stand holders. Which dump out very easily. And then I assume your player is gonna go in there, and you can move around too. Let me over the wall! Anyway, so with four players, you have four sheets that have player markers. And then clearly, you're going to have some others. They're just, man, they're just coming apart. Look at that. Just crumble right out of the box while you're sorting them. And then you got these, uh, oh, there's a scientist. He was on one of the cards we saw, so that must be an extra dude you can get. Not a player character, but an NPC. Like I said, everything's falling apart. And then you got a punch board here of markers and tokens. So this is going to be very hard to put back in the box very quickly and cleanly on camera. So I'm just going to tell you again that you get six punch boards of game pieces. Right? You get a deck of cards, about 20 cards it looks like. You get eight... Um, Terrain stands. Whew, a lot of stuff. Assembly required. You're going to get four of the uh, stand holders for the character cards, or for the character standees. You're going to get four player boards. You're going to get 20 dice, five each of four colors, not the dice tray. And you're going to get a rule book. And that is everything that's going to be inside of Apocalypse Chaos from Z-Man Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!